I wanted to ask you guys actually about this. What are your guys' uh, what are your thoughts on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot? Because I'm hearing at first when I saw the trailer for this game, I was like, holy shit, this looks dope. I really want to get this game. Then as more and more information started to come out about it, and uh, more trailers started to come out, like I, it just really got me down. I don't know what it is. But um, I feel like every Dragon Ball Z game that comes out, it's the same thing. It's the same story every single time. Don't get me wrong. Like, I love those stories. Um, I guess that's one of the reasons why I like Xenoverse so much. Because uh, it was, like, all new content and whatnot. And maybe I just don't know enough about Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Maybe they're doing, like, new stories or whatever. Uh, but from what I can tell, they're, it's just the same story. You know, Saiyan Saga all the way up through uh, Boo or maybe Super. I don't know. Which, again, don't get me wrong, like I said, graphics look awesome. Um, you know, I think it's on next-gen consoles. I'd probably get it for PC if I if I picked it up. But, um, yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm not really too excited about it. And I know there are a lot of people that are. And maybe it's just me. Like, I'm just too old. Like, I'm going on 32 years old now. And I really just don't have time for video games anymore. But when I do play, sometimes, like, I'll get really into it. Like, I'll still play Minecraft. I love Minecraft to death. Skyrim, I still love that game, but I, I haven't played it in a long time. Uh, simply because I've just played it so much, I feel like I, I've i just I've played it so many times, there's there's no point to playing it anymore. Which, there are mods and stuff like that, I get it. But I'm, I'm waiting for the next uh, Elder Scrolls game. Uh, Elder Scrolls 6. Which, I don't even think they announced... Uh, what was the new one? They have like Bethesda has like some space game coming out. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, that actually might be pretty good. So I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot probably not gonna get it. And I finished Zen like, or uh, Xenoverse Two when it first came out. I I beat the whole game completely, and then they started releasing all of the. Uh, all of the the mods or, or not the mods the uh, the different add-ons and DLC and um, yeah I it didn't really interest me anymore after that point and again maybe it's just me I'm just getting old the old man red just doesn't play games anymore and we'll pit back over to these uh, this fan art here for you guys anybody who's new to the channel anybody who is new to or who just popped in here welcome. I think what, uh, who is it that makes those games? Bandai? I think what they need to do is they need to make a Dragon Ball Z game where it's almost like Skyrim. And maybe that's what Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, I mean, it is, but it isn't. Because if you take Skyrim and you look at it, it's like a true open world RPG. You, you choose your character, you create your character, it bases this they have this main plot story and then they have like all of these side quest stories i think skyrim if you include all of the dlc skyrim had like 200 or 150 like quests that you could do and um once you get through kind of like the the beginning tutorial like mission of coming you know out of that cave and, and fighting the dragon for the first time it's basically open world at that point. I mean, you can pretty much say, okay, I'm doing the main quest, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. That's what they need to do with Dragon Ball Z. None of this like, oh, we're going back to the Raditz Saga, or, or they're going back to Raditz Saga, and you're going to play through, and... No, no, no. Like, get a game where it's like, you have some completely new story, and uh, you can do... You can choose like all your races, your classes, and you know outfits and all that stuff. Kind of like what Xenoverse did, but Xenoverse is still not open world technically because you still have those stages that you have to go into. It needs to be right like Skyrim, where it's true open world, and uh, you pretty much go where you want, do what you want, shoot an energy blast at a building, it explodes, you know, and then like that building's gone. Like bye bye to the people that are in it. They need a game like <laughs> if they had a game like that, I'd flip out, but they don't. So come on, get with it. Let's do it, Bandai. Get your shit together. 